don't know about you, but I'm wearied with the arguments of taking down statues. Not to say that it's not a topic worth discussing, but just that I wish people were a bit more reasoned in their arguments. Shall I give you mine? A number of people say that the statue of Edward Colston pulled down in Bristol this time last year was a disgraceful move. He was a slave trader in the 1600s and part of a group called the Royal African Company, which transported over 80,000 men, women and children as slaves from Africa to the Americas. He became extremely rich and he died in 1721, but he left a lot of money to charities and good causes. There was an outcry when his statue was overturned, but were you aware that the vast majority of people in Bristol had repeatedly asked for this statue to be taken down and taken perfectly reasonable routes to do so, and they had been ignored. His statue is now in the local museum, a fitting place, I would say, where he is remembered in the context of what he did. Another example is of St Andrew's Square in Edinburgh. Henry Dundas was a politician who in 1792 argued against the immediate abolition of the slave trade, ensuring that the word gradual was added to William Wilberforce's motion. He stands on a plinth in the square, but across the road from it is Dundas House, home of his relative Lawrence Dundas, and the statue in front of it, the Earl of Hopeton, also a relative, helped end the slave trade in Grenada. At the back of Dundas is the British Linen Bank, which sold clothes for slaves to wear, and near that is the birthplace of Sir Henry Broham, an abolitionist. Complicate it, isn't it? Where do we draw the line? Some might see Oliver Cromwell, for example, as a key figure in bringing democracy to the UK parliaments. Others might say he was responsible for the deaths of large numbers of the Irish in the 1600s. Yes, we know slavery is abhorrent, but you may not realise that slavery is at a higher level than it was in the 1600s with 21st century child labourers, exploitation of the poor and immigrants. Perhaps you might be better looking at where the products you buy come from. Are your nice cheap shirts perhaps made in a factory overseas exploiting child labour? I guess my conclusion is that slavery and the damage it caused to generations and generations afterwards was wrong and heartbreaking. It did happen, but rather than wiping it out of our history, wouldn't it perhaps be better to acknowledge it happened, learn from it and protest in the here and now for social equality, racial equality and justice? Statues could have new plaques added to explain the controversy, perhaps. I don't have the answer. I do acknowledge that historical statues probably should reflect the values of the society that erects them, and that doesn't necessarily mean they should stay forever. I'm just not sure the current values of society are something we can all agree on, ever. <laughs>